Holy cow! Well, that's how this is gonna go, isn't it? Oh, what's that mask that Yuta wears? What is what is this do? What does that do? I don't understand. Is it one of those like uh, hyperbolic chamber training masks? Sure, I'm gonna go with a yes on that one. As Yuta and Yehai, if you have not seen these two before, you are in for a treat, especially if you like classic hold for hold wrestling. These two can do that, but they add their own little flavor to it. Right. Uh, like kicking one in the head, that's smart. And tell us a little bit about Fred Yehi, since you love him so much. Well, I just like uh, the intensity. You you can go out there and wrestle, but he, he, look how intense he is. He's not just putting him in a, in a headlock. He's ripping that head. It's one thing to go in there and do the world of sports style from England in the 60s, 70s, even as far back as the 50s. But to add that little extra aggression to it, you are right. Fred Yehi makes it look easy, but Wheeler Yuta as well also makes it look easy. And at such a young age, you have to be impressed with what he's been able to do so far. Certainly impressed, but I wonder if he has the intensity that it's going to take to beat a guy like Fred Yehi. That's all I'm saying. It's a fair question as Yehi lateral press. Yuta gets out of it as we are kicking things off here at Heavy Lies the Crown. Use that hashtag. Let us know what you think. As Yehi and Yuta, they can also get it done in the striking department. Irish whip, and there's a back elbow. Falls it up with a stomp. You see a That's lot what of people. I'm talking about. You see a lot of people go with a splash or something a little more fancy. Not Yehi. You don't need to. You get him on the ground, you kick him. Smart. <laughs> Caved in his chest there with that chop. But Yuta striking back. And a quick slam there from Yehi. Continuing his assault on Yuta. We've seen Yuta be at the receiving end of beatings like this. We go all the way back to episode one of this season against Chris Dickinson. Mm -hmm. He took a beating, but one of the things about him is he keeps on coming. Right. Oh, and forget about surviving. He's letting Yehi know he is in the fight. Another go behind. Little trickery there with the foot. Slips out and hits the drop kick. Yehi dropping right to the floor. And he's going to need to stay on him. Here comes Yuna. He's going to try, but Yehi saw it coming, oh. but he did not see that coming. So many guys telegraphed that dive, but uh, Yehi got out of the way, but uh, it didn't really work. Telegraphed the dive, did not telegraph what came right after it, as Wheeler Yuta, a former Tournament for Tomorrow winner himself, oh, and look at that, Yehi going right to the eyes. That's the intensity. That's what's going to win you this match. Can't say I'm a fan of the tactic of going to the eye, but, oh, he's pretty hollow. It is hollow on the inside from the top, and he's putting the hell in there. His arm wrapped in steel, now being punished by Yehi. Have you seen a tactic like that before? No! My jaw is dropped. Well, make sure you write that down in your notebook for your boys later on down the line. Yeah, speaking of my boys, you're going to hear me say this a lot tonight. Uh, it's going to be the guys that do whatever it takes. A little mishap there, but it doesn't matter. Oh! Well, he made up for that in droves. He was trying to be a little bit fancy. Going to the outside got caught up, but he made up for it. And with the exploder suplex, Yuta goes down hard. Well, you mentioned earlier the high ropes. I just don't think he wasn't prepared for the high ropes. Yeah, but honestly, he shouldn't be doing those fancy moves. Just kick him in the head. And Yehi letting referee Kevin Quinn administer the count here. There he goes. And this is where that grizzly trade comes into play. Full body weight in a seated position to the lower back of Yuta. I love it. This is why he is so unique and why he's so successful oh. all throughout the United States. Just sit on him. What a move. Sit on him. And how Yuta can even get back to a vertical base is beyond me, but he is continuing to fight here despite Yehi being relentless. Uh, using 
the ref five count to his advantage. Also, you can see Yuta still favoring that arm that he's stuck in that hole. And again, going back to the face, and I think that fired Yuta up. Oh! There's a right hand, and Yehai chops him back down to size. It's easy to beat a one-armed man. Two count there, Yuta having to overcome a lot of odds, teaming up over this season with Layla Hirsch primarily, but also staying in the singles game as well. But this is just a test of a different level. Mm -hmm. Going back at that neck, cranking that head, just uh, not giving him any room to breathe, cutting off the wind flow. Smart. Fred Yehi, Wheeler Yuta. Here at Heavy Lies, the crowd use that hashtag. Let us know what you think about that and our announcement of AIW coming live to IWTV in February. But Yehi bringing Yuta back up to his feet with that neck crank. Oh! Slamming him straight down. And that is some amateur style moves right there. I know there's nowhere Yuta's going to go. Every time he comes up, he goes down. And look at him using that forearm, placing it in the face of Wheeler Yuta just to further frustrate him and to pick him apart systematically, Mark. God. Kidney shots there. You don't see that much in a wrestling ring. I love this guy. Grinding the back of his neck with his elbow. Doing so many unique, different things to administer punishment to his opponent is Fred Yehi, but Wheeler Yuta. This is his home away from home, spending so much time here at Beyond, but Yehi does not care. Tried to pick him up, but again, uh, practically, I, I would be surprised if his arm is not broken or his elbow is not sprained from that attack in the corner. I don't think he's going to be slamming anybody anytime soon. And Wheeler Yuta remembers that tag team match back in week 11 against Fred Yehi. He remembers Yehi. Taking some cheap shots during that match. That's what sort of flared all of this animosity up. And that is why he's oh, in this. <laughs> Talk about a unique way to loosen up the neck, Mark. Fred Yehi, his neck definitely compressed on that one. Well, this could be the chance that Yuta needs. I mean, for the rest of this match, he's going to have to utilize speed, his legs, because uh, we all know he's not using those arms. Certainly not. Go behind. Back elbow misses. Ooh. Misses on the inside. Look at that. Koji clutch from Yehi. I have never seen someone get to a Koji cut clutch so smooth. That was smooth. You took the words right out of my mouth. As Yehi has it locked in the center of the ring, transitions out. Wait a minute. Oh. 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 Insecurity connects from Yuta. He's not wasting any time. Hey! Tope Suicida from Yuta. And like I said, Mark, not wasting any time on that one. Exactly. And that play is able to Yuta going to bring Yehi right back in the ring. Still in pain, obviously. You can see it on his face. Oh! No way for him not to be. That knee caught the armpit of Yehi enough to send him backwards. Drop kick, and now Yehi's the Wait a minute. Head. This crowd firmly behind you to this entire time. Perhaps that elbow. Maybe that's the energy he needs. Tries the spinning DDT. Yehi gets out of his whole package. Oh. Oh. Only a two count there on that small package. Yehi with a forearm. And both oh. guys connecting simultaneously here. And now both been wobbly, Mark. This has been a hard-fought match so far. And this is just our opener. Oh. Yehi catches him around the neck. Judo toss from Yuta. Charges in, misses. Didn't miss on that one. Here we go. Oh, there's the spinning DDT. Yay high out at two. What's he going for here? Oh, Yudagatame, perhaps. He's got it locked in. No, excuse me. Yehi's still fighting it oh. off. He's got it. Now he has it. 
Now, this is the intensity that we needed to see from the get-go. And Yuta has the forearm across the face. And Yehai still fighting it off. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Whatever it takes to get out of a hole, am I right? And now going after the fingers of Yuta and continuing to fight. Come on, Mark. This is disgusting. I hope he's not left-handed. That's all I have to say. Oh! He's out. He's Got out. Him flush. Brain Buster. That's it. What? Yuta out at two, but again, the Koji clutch. No, wait a minute. Yay high. Got that oh, shoulder up. And again catches him. I don't think Yuta knows where he is. Wait a minute. Sweeps the legs out. Rolled him up. What? Yuta scores the victory over Yay high. Oh my god. Winner, Yuta! You want to talk about a great way to kick off Heavy Lies the Crown, Mark? That was as advertised. Holy cow. Again, I'll say it. What a match. And what an effort from Yuta, continuing to show his progression and maturation as a professional wrestler and just as a professional overall. I mean, can't really call him a kid anymore. He's growing up in front of our eyes. We've got to give it to Fred here, though. He brought it. He brought the intensity. He absolutely brought... Well, he didn't bring a lot of niceness here. No, that's fine. That's fine. These guys were jerks the entire match.